let's look at how the public sector agencies can innovate using open data. So as you all know that open data program has been championed by the public sector agencies to be transparent and bring trustworthiness into the organization. The best way they were, they were thinking about doing this is to release the data that they're actually collecting part of the service design or service delivery and then operations. By doing so, uh, they are releasing a lot of open data sets in the open data portal. The open data program or the open data sets are, based, are released based on few basic principles for fair use, accessible, and then they're timely updated and they're actually released for the well-being and economic outcomes of the society. Having said that, most of the open data program uh, or pray, spray and pray approach, what, I mean, what I, I mean by that is the public sector agencies keep on releasing open data sets to everyone, to most of the citizens. Some of the public sector agencies have some kind of a KPI that says number of open data sets released. So they keep on releasing to hit their KPIs. Having said that, we need to shift the focus from spray and pray approach to point and shoot approach, whereby we can actually target right audience and right data sets so that innovation can be accelerated in the community. The way to do that is using this tool called Business Model Canvas. This is championed by Alex. And I'm going to show you how this Business Model Canvas can be actually used to help the public sector agencies build a lot of open data programs um, along with respective projects to innovate using the open data they release. So the business model canvas consists of few areas, as you can actually see. Um, the main is key partners, key activities, and key resources, followed by the value proposition, customer relationship, channels, and customer segments. And finally, the business model canvas talks about cost structure and revenue stream. Let's go into detail. So the key partners mean for the public sector agencies, they need to understand who their stakeholders are for the open data. It's not everyone, by the way. A common man does not have skills and capabilities of a data scientist to actually download the data and apply the right data analysis and then derive the insights and then take action on it. I don't think all the citizens in the world are the right customers. Having said that, the open the public sector agencies needs to understand who their stakeholders are. And also we need to understand what kind of role the stakeholders play in the business, um, in the business value stream of the open data. So you release the data, how does the business or the key partners actually get the value out of the open data? So we need to understand what kind of role each stakeholders actually play. Then let's focus on key activities. If, if What I mean by the key activities is that what are the core business value activities as part of your open data program? So we need to understand what the core activities and how that core activity is actually distributed across your whole value stream. Okay, so those are very important. The third one in the business model value can canvas is the value proposition. What's the value proposition of open data for your each key partners? So we need to understand from the public sector perspective, what are the core business problems of your key partners? Okay. And what are the key activities actually the public sector agency does that adds value to those key partners? And also understand what are the, uh, how the key partners are actually delivering customers value to their own customers. So that's all very important in actually um, 
articulating the value proposition. Coming to the key resources, as it clearly says, what are the key resources that the public sector agencies have access to? And how it can be leveraged to deliver the business value of the open data program. And more importantly, the public sector agencies need to understand what is the link between resources and the key activities. The next important thing in the Mistress Model Convex is the customer relationship. How is the public sector agencies building relationships with their stakeholders? It's very, very important. It's very, very different to different kind of stakeholders they have. To give you an example, for a developer, the customer relationship should be focused around APIs, application programming interface, and the relevant documentation of how the uh, developers can actually access those data sets. However, for a common man, it could be as simple as a forum where a common man can actually go and then um, put in a question and then the open data program portal actually answers that question. So there is a different kind of customer relationship needs to be uh, established for different kind of stakeholders. And how this whole customer relationship is integrated as part of your open data program, that's very, very important. Anything you do, Obviously, the customer have to be informed and they have to be well aware of what you're going to do, what you are doing and what you're going to do as well. So that's on the customer relationship. The next item in the business model canvas is channels. What are the ways in which the public sector agencies open data program can reach their stakeholders? Very, very important. How does a public sector agencies offer customer service and support? to all the queries that, that's coming from the key stakeholders. Moving on, the public sector agencies have to segment their customers. So that's on the customer segments um, topic. The reason being each customer segment perceived value of the open data program is very different and the public sector agencies need to cater for their needs. And this customer segments also helps the public sector agencies to enrich the customer experience they're actually delivering to the key stakeholders. The next item in the business model canvas is cost structure. Obviously, the open data policy of the public sector agencies have to have a cost structure. The open data program is funded through the, the public sector agencies budget programs and they need to understand how much they're actually spending on each of those uh, open data program but having said that the open data by itself is free there is no cost whatsoever to the community who are actually consuming this um, if you are applying cc by license uh, there are a few agencies in the world where they actually charge for some open data sets they actually publish, whereby they give you a lot more high value and high quality data sets, or even some granular data sets, which is not available to everyone in the community, for by which they actually sell the open data. Okay. Um, in my opinion, if you sell the open data, it actually violates some of the core principles of the open data itself. So again, uh, as for the public sector agencies definitely have to understand the cost structure behind it. In terms of revenue stream, there's no revenue stream in the open data program. But having said that, open data program actually spurs a lot of economic activity in the community. That's exactly how the open data have to have a value. It's extremely hard uh, because sometimes they are enabling activities some of the open data are enablers for community to actually innovate um, so this hard to actually put a number on revenue stream so there's no revenue coming from your open data program so from the public sector perspective this is their business model canvas For a public sector, the key partners are the local businesses who are very crucial for the local community. They're citizen data scientists. 
their own government agencies or their partner government agencies or the public sector agencies. Definitely app developers is the thriving community where open data sets is a key for them to innovate and build apps and monetize and stuff like that. So for an open data program, the, one of the key, key partners I would say is the app developer community. The next key partner is the map providers. Uh, along with open data enthusiasts, or this could be a, a, a subset of the citizen data scientist community, and then more importantly, startup community. So this is covered on the key partners. What are the key activities a government, a public sector agency does to bring value? So the primary, uh, there are four items I've mentioned. The first one being uh, engaging with the stakeholders. Obviously, they have to engage with the key partners. Um, they have to consult with them, and then they have a periodic consultation, and they also have to have some kind of a feedback mechanism after they release the open data. So the main key activity a public sector agency they have to do is engagement. They have to constantly engage with the uh, with the key partners. But the key, the second key activity is, of course, uh, pu publish open data. And that's their main uh, key activity. The third point, uh, even though it can be bundled under publish open data sets, I explicitly mentioned keep the high value, high quality open data data up to date. This is also very important because if your open data sets is critical for some of the business, uh, your key partners, obviously you have to keep it up to date and then um, extremely, extremely clean. So that's the third activity they have to undertake. Fourth one is maintain the open data portal. Uh, most of the open data platforms or open data portals are have to be constantly maintained and have to be uh, innovated from the user experience perspective. So these are the four main key activities that the public sector agencies does. Uh, in terms of key resources, there are three key resources uh, um, to, to do that. Um, the community is there, they have their own brand, the public sector agency's brand would help along with the platform they have. Coming to the fourth part of the business model canvas where you talk about the value proposition. The value proposition of the public sector agencies for the open data program is they, they release the data for free. Okay, there's free licensing agreement to all the data. So, um, so that's their value proposition. It's free, it's available 24 seven, anybody can actually access it. Along with two main key value proposition I see. The first one is they provide an open data portal where it's, it provides a simple and intuitive interface to actually browse what's available from the ground, from the public sector agencies in terms of the data set. The next aspect in the value proposition is it's easy to get the data from the government. Um, there are a lot of uh, government agencies across the world where they they have some kind of a freedom of information or rights to information, some kind of a policy where a citizen can actually request a government sector agency to release a particular set of data in the open data portal. If your government agency is part of this open government partnership, OGP, then by mandate, they have to have an open data program or open data portal. Okay, so that's in that way, it makes it easy for citizens to actually go and browse for the data sets they need. In terms of, so the four items I mentioned here is what most of the public sector agencies do really well. Or The other aspect um, in here is where they, they don't focus much. Uh, this is mostly on customer relationship, customer segment and channels where there's some marketing aspects to the open data program itself. Um, it doesn't come to limelight quite often. For example, the customer, in terms of the customer relationship, the way the public sector agencies have to have a customer relationship is through some kind of a, a, a there is a portal where, whereby they actually access the data set and have some kind of a discussion around the data set. Having said that, they need to have some kind of a forum where all these community members can come, congregate and then discuss about various aspects 
it could be about a business problem it could be about a data sets or it could be about some of the they want to showcase some cool apps they actually built so that they can get some visibility in the community so that's where public sector agencies need to concentrate if they want to amplify the effort they actually put in in the open data program for for that they need to definitely segment the customers uh, who are their current um, customer segment is it app developers is it map providers and external vendors or it could be journalists because remember, open data program is for enabling trust and transparency in the democracy world, where these data journalists play a very, very crucial role. So that's another key segment for an open data program to focus on. And if you look at the channels, there are only three channels that's available. Either through open data portal, their own branding comes into play. And public sector energy can also use hackathon as another secondary channel to publicize their open data program. And of course, they can actually engage in a lot of social media to get a lot of attention about uh, visibility about some of the cool apps that the developers and map providers actually build on using their own open data. And then they can actually showcase to the community in terms of the innovation. Uh, coming to the cost structure uh, where the, the public sector agency needs to put in some budgets to for the development and maintenance of the open data portal. If there's no good user experience in the open data portal, obviously there's a lot, not many developers would come and engage in the open data portal. They also need to invest some money in have proper documentation in place in the open data program as well. Uh, and then there has to be budget for marketing and community management activities. Uh, in terms of revenue stream, I don't want to focus much on this because there's no direct revenue coming from the open data program uh, but having said that it's an enabler for the economic activity and also contributes to the well-being and the quality of life of the society so i'll stop here and then in the next video i will focus on uh, each one of these topic and also offer a lot of suggestions in which the public sector agencies can usually can actually make use of the business model canvas and innovate using their open data sets.